Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of JLD Reactions. Today, we're going to be watching D100, Season 1, Episode 4, entitled Murphy's Law. Now, last week's episode was really good. It was about the fog, the radioactive fog that came into, that was spreading across the jungle, and they all had to keep away from it. Octavia's boyfriend, Adam, got killed by the fog, and, well, he didn't get killed by the fog. He got disfigured and pretty much obliterated by the fog. We found out... That it was actually the lead protagonist. Why can I remember that girl's name? It was actually her mother who ratted out their dad. So the mother sacrificed her husband for the good of of the Ark, I suppose you could say. And also, I had a hunch. I had a feeling about that little girl. I just knew it. I was like, something ain't right. Something ain't right about her. She don't seem mentally stable to me. Something ain't right. And then she killed off... The black guy. I don't remember his name either. I don't remember anything. Right. Okay. Well, guys, let's get started. But before we do, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell. Also, you can get the full reaction to this video and to other videos on Patreon. Let's get started. He didn't want me to know that either. He let me hate him so that I wouldn't hate my mother. No. Ah. I can't believe they my father. I just wish there was something I could do. To tell her I know. Make her feel what I'm Take off the bracelet. Where are you going? To make her feel it. She's taking off her bracelet. No. No, th this isn't right. Abby. Abby. Okay, it's not conclusive. Just because her wristband went out doesn't mean that. It's so realistic because, like, term. when shit like that happens, you do be holding on to that little bit of hope. That little bit of hope. <laughs> you think the grounders are just gonna sit around and wait for us to finish the wall? Maybe we should let the little girl do the lifting for you, huh? I just need some water, okay? Then I'll be fine. <laughs> Murphy. I gotta believe him. Get this guy some water. Hey, you got this? <laughs> I just need some water. I'll be fine. <laughs> I can't even say it with a straight face. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, that little putana. She is my enemy. What are you gonna do? Stab him? Oh, pee him? What the hell is wrong with you, Murphy? What the hell is you wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with you, man? Break. Get back to work. You heard him. She's gonna kill him. Hey, what's wrong? Hmm? Oh, nothing. I'm good. I'd be scared. Casper, it's been a week. Okay, you've been given a second chance. And you gotta use it. <laughs> Octavia. What was that? A grounder. Had to. Octavia. Have Start screaming for help. Are you okay? Hey, jerk. Oh. <laughs> Dude, don't play like that. Not with grounders and shit about, like, don't even play. I hate I hate it when people, when something that's serious is going on, and they got to play games. and Like, shut the F up. Get serious. <laughs> Here, Jasper. Come on. There's nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> Look at what we've achieved. The wall, the patrols. Like it or not, thinking the grounders killed Wells is good for us. Oh, good for you, you mean? What, keep people afraid and they'll work for you? Is that it? Yeah, that's it. But it's good for all of us. Fear of the grounders is building that wall. 
And besides, what are you gonna do? Just walk out there and ask the killer to step forward? Don't even know whose knife that is. Oh, really? J.M. John Murphy. The people have a right to know. Who's John Murphy? See, I no thought water that... This section is... He just wasted that perfectly good water, but I was thinking that that little girl used the knife that he gave her. Right? I guess it was a different knife. Stop! What? What are you staring at, huh? You son of a bitch! <laughs> What's your problem? Recognize this? So the knife, where'd you find it? Where you dropped it after you killed Wells. Do this. They found his fingers on the ground with your knife. Is oh, this the kind out? of society that we want? You say there should be no rules. Does that mean that we can kill each other without, without punishment? Look, I already yeah. told you, I didn't kill anyone. I say we float him. Yeah, yeah. I like rules. Yeah. That's not what I'm saying. Why not? He deserves to float. It's justice. Yeah. yeah. Well, it isn't justice. It's justice. Float him. It is, oh. but we don't know that he did it. So you can't kill him on a hunch. He has the right to a trial, to a fair trial. And due process. Well, due process. Oh. Oh my god! This is on you, princess! You should have kept your mouth shut! What the hell are you No, that's what? That's ridiculous. Get out of here now! Cut him down! Hey, come on, wait! I know, I know, I get it. She's a little girl. Her parents are dead. I get it. I just don't know what the solution is. I just don't know what the solution is. I really don't know what the solution is. What do you do when a little kid kills somebody? Intentionally. Can they be rehabilitated? If she were like 15 or 16, I'd be like, okay, you're old enough to know not to kill somebody. But she's like 12 or 11, which is different. How about settling for some herb and moonshine like everybody Save else? Save the act for someone who doesn't know better. Just tell me what it's going to take. I owe a favor to the chief of electrical. And he's got a thing for tough, pretty girls like you. Hmm. She could You're joking, right? I never joke about business, Raven. Kane's watching my every move, so if I'm gonna do this, you're gonna need to make it worth my while. By screwing the chief of electrical? I can't do that. Then I guess you don't need to regulate pressure as badly as you thought you did. You'll float yourself, Nigel. <laughs> you know, your mother would have taken that deal. Ooh. In fact, she did. Many times. Don't you dare talk about my mother that way! Oh, little girl. No, no, I'll fuck you, Nigel! Get off me! Bye, little bird! I was just trying to slay my demons, like you told me. Not what the hell is she talking humans. about? She misunderstood me, Charlotte. That is not what I meant. Bring the girl out now! That girl you can't be that stupid. Hurt me. Oh, if you guys have any no. right ideas, speak up. <sighs> Now you stay quiet. Hey, those are your boys out there. This is not my fault. If she'd listened to me, those idiots would still be building the wall. Hey, you want to build a society, princess? Let's build a society. Bring her out. No, please tell me. Look, Charlotte, hey, it's going to be OK. Hello, Dr. Griffin. Nigel. Morphine. What do you want for it? Pressure regulator. I underestimated Raven. How does a girl like that get such a well-connected benefactor? You have three seconds to decide. Do we have a deal or not? Attention. The vet hall will be closed tomorrow from 1100 
food. He saw you. What the hell do you think you're doing? Just because we saved you doesn't mean you're forgiven. Got it? Clark. What? She's just a kid. You killed someone, Charlotte. Ended his life. Did you stop to think about that for even one second? Look at me! You can't just kill someone to make yourself feel better. We should run. And the way That's she one did, way to go. his fingers off and everything. I like mine. And since when do you give up your customers? I don't have customers, Marcus. I am a citizen of the Ark, and I don't believe anyone should be above the law. Do you? <laughs> You're a plague on this ship, Nigel. And even if what you said is true, it's your word against a member of the Council. And who do you think the people will believe? You know, you should thank me. With Abby out the way, your agenda should sail. Right I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Pays in the operating room next time you're working. Abby, did you take morphine from the clinic? Did you get it already? No. Kane was just here. He's on his way to Mecca to arrest both of you right now. Oh, you gave Nigel no. morphine? She turned me in. That bitch. How much longer? 20 minutes. They're gonna be here in five. Oh shit. No matter what happens, you launch that pod. Do you understand? I'm not going without you. Only one of us needs to get to the ground, Raven. Oh. The second you find those kids, you radio back. 300 innocent people will die if you don't. Calm down. We'll talk about this. Punch. <laughs> oh! My God. Of listening to you talk. Let her go. Back up. I will no. slit her throat on. No, please. Please don't hurt her. Don't hurt her? Okay, I'll make you a deal. You come with me right now. I will let her go. The little girl's gonna jump off the don't cliff. Don't do it, Charlotte. Charlotte. No. No, I have to. Murphy, this is not happening. I can't let any of you get hurt anymore. She's gonna jump off the cliff. Not because of me. Not after what I did. Charlotte. No. She might survive. No, no, she's dead. no, no, no. For now, we make the rules. So what then? We just take him back and pretend like it never happened? No! We banish him. Get up! Bellamy! Stop! If I ever catch you in your camp, We'll be back here. Understand? Wow. Well, As for the enemy. four of you, you can come back and follow me, or go off with him to die. Your choice. What's she up to? I know she's gonna survive, but... It's gonna be a bumpy ride. Did you know that her boyfriend, Finn Collins, was one of a hundred?
wow, guys. That was a really good episode. It was a little sad, too. That was just sad, man. Sad. I feel sad and confused. That's the really good thing about the show. It really shows humans and how they act in uh, how humans act. Now, how humans act in real life forming a society because, I mean, they both have a good part. They both have good... Because sometimes the people do have a right to know. And sometimes... Sometimes it's better when the public doesn't know. Like I said, I talked about this before. I was talking about alien conspiracies and how I used to think, oh, we're ready. We're ready to know the truth, government. However... As I've gotten older, I realized, no, a lot of people couldn't handle it. Oh, and that little girl dying, I, I just didn't know how to feel about that either. I was happy with the solution, because I didn't have to think about it or deal with it. Because I was like, what are we going to do with this little girl? We're going to have this little murder girl, because I want her to have consequences. But she's a little girl. What do you do with that? What do you do with that, man? How are they going to handle that? How are they going to do it? How, how are they going to... I was thinking, well, maybe they could banish her. I jokingly said, let her go live with the grounders, but... She might still be alive, too, because we don't know if there was water. If there was water at the bottom of those rocks, she might have survived. Now, some of you guys told me that in the first season, the acting can be a little spotty in some parts. And yeah, it is sometimes a little spotty in some parts. I will admit that. But I'm not going to like... But the show's still good regardless. I'm not going to complain about that. Uh, good episode, guys. Good episode. Definitely a good episode. Okay, that was fun. I will see you guys in the next one. Ciao.